Americans are apparently, according to Politico, open to the Republicans' proposal. This was a poll that they conducted along uh, with the morning consult. They are pessimistic that rolling back Obamacare would improve quality price and coverage, but I don't think the numbers look that as good as they should for the Democrats because they're horrible at messaging, because they're weak, feckless, etc. Um, 46% of the voters approve of the Republicans' health care proposal, and more than 35% disapprove. 19% of voters can be swayed either way, so there's no majority uh, approval or disapproval. They just don't have an opinion on the bill, meaning like they're not being educated about it. Uh, but that support for the bill is shallow, according to Politico. Well, I, I don't, I don't want to interrupt you, but yeah. it's important to say it's, it's very, very likely that this poll came out before the CBO's estimates. Or this poll was conducted before the CBO estimate that 14 million people were going to be removed. Right. So that's important that's context. Point. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, so la lastly, uh, 4 in 10 voters say they either strongly approve or strongly disapprove of the bill. Strong disapproval is 22% and strong approval is 18%. Again, I don't know how you could be a, you know, strongly approved, but that's just the Republican base. That's either rich people or poor people who have been duped into thinking that Obamacare is, uh, as Ben Carson once said, the worst thing since slavery. <laughs> well, honestly, uh, as you know, I always come back to the media. The fact that these numbers are what they are is a reflection of our media. Because the majority of the country, particularly Republicans who voted for Trump, have no concept of what's in uh, Trump care or really Ryan care. Because on CNN and all these places, they're mostly talking about the political gamesmanship. Will this sabotage Trump? Will this, uh, will this create the permanent rift between Trump and the Republican establishment? Have you seen many in-depth segments about what's, uh, what's in this bill? In-depth? Right. And go out and talk to people in, in, in cities and communities that might be affected? I certainly haven't. And if there, if there have been, send them to me. Uh, they don't know what's in the Trump care. And frankly, they never knew what was in Obamacare because the media didn't report on that accurately. I don't like Obamacare. Uh, is it better than the sh your shit out of luck healthcare system we had? Yes, I've talked to I've talked to people who have had their lives saved by Obamacare. So it's certainly not all bad. It's better than what was. But uh, the media uh, does not cover extensively uh, the policy, what's in the bill, uh, the things that need to be improved. It's all about the political prism: who's up, who's down. Uh, w will the Republicans, you know, will, will Trump's honeymoon be tanked by this? And that's why you even have 46% of voters. Because, by the way, a lot, of Trump, a lot of Trump supporters that I interviewed around the country, they can't afford this bill. It, it might take them off, uh, or they'll lose their health insurance. And uh, the other thing in this um, poll that was really jarring was the support for Paul Ryan, which makes me want to go through the, jump through the fucking roof. Because Paul Ryan, uh, I wrote a piece about it uh, earlier, Paul Ryan is as radical... Uh, in, in terms of policy, as David Duke. So if David Duke is like a white Klansman uh, racist. I'm not. I'm not comparing Paul Ryan to that uh, in in the way he talks or the way he thinks. But in terms of his politics and in terms of his policy and the the vile nature and and the malice he has towards poor people, he has a weird to me a weird sadistic um, satisfaction out of hurting people who are already down and out of propping people up that are doing well. It's just, it's, he goes beyond just that general chamber of commerce conservatism. conservatism. He loves Ayn Rand, who is the, the chief, was the chief of, uh, you know, social Darwinism and the survival of the fittest. Paul Ryan, tell him the poll numbers. So those numbers have 40% favorable rating, 40% unfavorable, 20% have never heard of him. He is, now here's the doozy, the most popular congressional leader. Also, uh, I did a story on this recently. You know who's more popular than Elizabeth Warren? Mike Pence. Um, so that's extremely concerning to progressives and anybody uh, that follows politics. The Republican lawmakers that are that nuts, like Paul Ryan and Mike Pence, I mean, I, who take your pick, they're both terrible, um, are as popular as, as this. But let's go through. Why, why is Paul Ryan popular? Well, why do you think? Because Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski has had him on for years. Uh, Joe Scarborough has called him a courageous conservative. They've called him, oh, we're almost done. Uh, called him, oh, you know, what, one of the premier leaders in the future of the Republican Party. Meanwhile, every budget he has uh, tries, takes a machete to Medicare 
uh, Medicaid, student loans, food stamps. This is a radical, okay? You don't need, whether you hate the Democrats or the Republicans, Paul Ryan is a radical, and the fact that 20% of the country doesn't even know him shows the media puts this guy forward as some serious policymaker and a, the adult in the room. No, 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 he's a radical. He's an extremist going beyond the Chamber of Commerce. He, 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 has a, he might as well have an Ayn Rand doll uh, over his bed. And 40% of the country deems him as popular, uh, favorable. favorable, and 20% don't know him. That's why the media isn't doing its job, because they got to call a spade to spade. When you push forward, it's not one budget. Budget after budget after budget, basically taking a shit on poor people and trying to, you know, he, he calls them the takers and he has some weird, weird theory that if you, if you don't give to the poor, it will prop them up. No, Paul Ryan, you're a radical and it's our job to tell people that. That's not bias, that's just facts. His policies are radical.